Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your past reality. Revealing Jesus today, it is show honor. The same goes for your husbands. Be good husbands to your wives. Honor them, delight in them. First Peter chapter 3 verse 7 and it's the same translation the message God's word is both both uh, specific and universal these words are written specifically to husbands with it's such wonderful counsel for all of us what a different world we would live in if people would fully let their hearts be changed by the love of Jesus Christ. What would happen in our workplaces, in our marriages, our families, our network of friends, our churches, if we would lead a revolution in honoring others? truly delighting in them. Is there any greater testimony of the grace you have received? Have you fallen into patterns of grumbling about the people who are closest to you in life? Do you see the shortcomings and miss out on the blessings of lifting others up by the way you think and speak of them. Nothing is sadder than to see a married couple that began their life together with such love and enthusiasm too, after many years, no longer find joy in each other. Friends, let's be obedient. Even if we don't feel like we are Treated with, treated with the affection and dignity we deserve. Let's be leaders. Let's be the ones who go to an extra mile with kindness. It all begins when we look to Jesus and see how he treats us. Even when we are far from him and reject him. Delight in your wives, delight in your husband, delight, if I may say, and use the word spouses. Honor your children, honor your parents, your grandparents, your dear friends. Honor them with such love as you will be first touched by the deepest love in your life. And no one can have greater love than Christ. But he is also saying to us that if we have love among each other, the world will see that we are brothers and sisters from each other and from Christ. My beautiful women, help your spouses my beautiful guys, also help yours. So that new things will happen again between the both of you. Dear friends, consider what kind of relationship you, ha you have, where it comes from and how many years. And things can happen. Because in our humanity, we are so fragile, so fragile. And our ego is sometimes so much in between. Ush, yes, that's true. Let us be a mirror to each other. 
where we see the Christ and ourself. And if you feel that things are not working that good or, you know, things can happen, you know, stress and, and tired, maybe tired of what everything is going on in your life. This is also normal, you know, we don't talk about the hocus pocus, you know, it's not a magic trick that you snip with your fingers and everything is smooth. No. Honor each other, my brothers and sisters. Honor each other. And so you will honor your God. Pray with me. Lord, you love me so much. I thank you from the bottom and the whole part of my soul that I a little bit have an understanding what is going on deep inside of my soul. My God, you delight in me. Even when I am not such a delightful person, you honor me. Even when I don't deserve honor, may I treat others as you have treated me and still do and always will do. My beloved one, I love you. Amen. And so let that be that part of your day. Maybe this week, maybe a month, this is the Lenten period, a time of devotion, a time of reflection, looking inside of yourself. And take that with you in the blessings that God gives you in your mornings and your noon times and your evenings. Honor, honor, honor. And he is worthy to be praised, my dear ones. And let him bless you. And the ones close to your heart, your loved ones. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. Let the beloved love you. This is your pastor, Yeti. Bye.